Good evening, Wesley Church. It's Wednesday, April 15th. I'm Pastor Justin, and I'm bringing you tonight's Daily Devotional. You know, the other night I was walking my dog Cooper around in the backyard before bedtime, and I just happened to take a look up at the night sky, and I gotta tell you, it was an incredible sight that stared back at me. There were millions and millions of stars dotting the sky above me. It was really something to behold. I don't know about you, but I've had that experience several times in my life where I've either laid back on a blanket or just stood there or sat there in a chair staring at the night sky and thinking how incredibly lucky we are to be alive in the midst of this vast universe where nothing but a small speck floating around out there, but how much God loves us to have created us and made us a part of something so big and so wonderful. I have to wonder when Vincent van Gogh painted his picture, The Starry Night, if he had a similar experience to that. Let me show you the painting that I'm talking about. You're probably really familiar with this piece of artwork. This is one of Van Gogh's most famous and probably important pieces of art. But if you know much about this piece of art, you know that it was painted in 1889, uh, about a year before Van Gogh's uh, death. He painted this while staying at a mental institution. Um, and he had been admitted there and was painting a series of uh, paintings of the landscape outside of his room window. This one is uh, just before the morning sun rose. And you see here in the center of the painting this sort of swirl of light and energy. Uh, art historians have argued for years over what exactly inspired him to paint this. Uh, perhaps it was the, the play of light and dark, or perhaps it was just the beauty of the scene around him. Some have said that it has to do with uh, Van Gogh finding religion around this time. Something about the hand of God reaching down uh, to protect the people of this small city. I like to go with this sort of last interpretation because whenever I look at this piece of artwork, I think of there's something got to do with that, that beautiful swirl of light in the middle. It reminds me of the Holy Spirit just sort of being breathed by God over these people as they slumber and enter their last hours of rest. Whenever I look at this painting, I'm reminded of a particular passage of scripture from one of the Psalms. I want to read to you Psalm 147, verses 3 through 5. This is from the New International Version. Hear these words. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. People of faith, when I see this painting, I am reminded of the hand of God stretched out to his people, even when things are dark out. Sometimes it feels right now like we are living in this dark hour, like there's so much uncertainty just swirling around us. But if we look just beyond the darkness, we'll too see that there is a light, a good light, God's light, that is just waiting to surround us as well. The hand of God is reaching out to you tonight and beckoning you to come close to him, to rest securely in his shelter and in his love. Do yourself a favor tonight before you go to bed. Take a step into your backyard and just look up at the night sky. See if you can see a star or two and then say a prayer thanking God for all that God has done for you and the love that envelops you tonight. People of faith, this is my prayer for you as you go. Father, thank you for this church called Wesley. We pray tonight for one another in our need during this time. God, for those who are sick, we lift them to you tonight for healing. And for all of those who are working to care for those who are sick, we lift them to you as well. God, we know that you are truly our light, our source of inspiration and hope. Surround us tonight as you surrounded that little town in Van Gogh's painting. And show us your great love and the hope that we have as we look forward to tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good night, Wesley Church. We'll see you tomorrow.